What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is an update that came to Goodlock. Two updates within there and they're both within the home up module. Now, if you want to download Goodlock, all you got to do is open up your Galaxy Store. Find the Galaxy Store on your phone, search for Goodlock and install it if you don't already have it installed. If you have it installed, there's probably an update waiting for you. So go to the main screen of the Galaxy Store, hit the three lines in the top left, go to updates, it should see it within there, hit update. Once it's updated, open up Goodlock and within Good luck. What you're going to see is if you go into the home op module, you're going to now see that if you go into task changer, you're going to see a bunch of new layout types. I think there's two more. I think I believe it is vertical list and slim list or something like that. Maybe you had those, whatever. There's some new stuff in there. Ultimately, if you change it to vertical list and turn on circular list, now when you do your recent apps, you have this like circular look to your apps now, I think it's pretty cool. It's, it, it feels more modern, more fun, more playful. So I think that's gonna be a, a bit of a, a, a bit of a getaway from the like just straight up and down or left to right. So kind of cool within there. And then also the other big update in there is when you go into your recent apps, you're gonna see a button at the bottom left there. It's gonna be press that and it automatically puts your phone into split screen. You can choose another app and automatically you have two apps open right there for yourself automatically and it, so it's it's a little bit easier you don't have to press and hold anything or do anything like that and so say for instance I had a Google Play Store in press that recent apps hit this button at the bottom left again and I can open up you know any other app that I want to be able to uh, you know de go and do just do multiple apps at the same time and obviously you can change it that way as well. So very easy way to multitask now as well, all through that Goodlock app. Goodlock's an amazing app. I always, always say it, so download it if you didn't already. It's free, it's for Samsung Galaxy phones. Last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and a feature that's coming over to this phone that, I don't know, I can definitely see this coming to other phones as well, especially probably even the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but this is specifically about the Z Flip 3, and it is, as you know, you have real buttons on your phone. What about virtual buttons, AKA capacitive slash touch buttons that you'll be able to use? It looks like from this information, as you can see from Let's Go Digital, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 foldable phone with virtual buttons. We've talked about the Z Flip 3 earlier this week, but we'll just run through what they said here. Uh, the Z Flip 3 foldable smartphone will be greatly improved with larger cover display, 120 hertz flexible screen, triple camera, and stereo speakers. But I just wanted to put extra emphasis on these virtual buttons and where they will lie. So it looks like from this diagram is that the, the physical buttons, they'll still be physical buttons. The physical buttons will be in the top left. And then below that, you're gonna have the virtual buttons that you can, I assume, probably customize. If not, they'll maybe they'll just be volume buttons. What I would hope they'll just be customizable through the settings. And whenever you have it, the phone open or closed, those buttons will be very easy to reach and it won't matter. It's making the phone easier to use overall. And also since that Z Flip 3 is supposed to be a lot thinner than previous generations, or at least slightly thinner, then you're looking at the capacitive buttons again, making it easier to use the phone because the buttons won't have to stick out as much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, are you looking forward to capacitive slash virtual buttons? You know, buttons that you won't physically see or press on. They'll be just be like along the phone. Let me know in the comments down below. I guess if you can potentially move them up or down or left or right, kind of put them where you want them, I guess I'm not, I'm down with it, I guess. Uh, so I'm just say, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Let me know what you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you tomorrow and down the road. Peace.